What's up guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to Kelly Builds. And in today's video, I was planning on doing some welding here. So finally, 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 oh my God, I literally can't speak. Finally, we'll be welding this piece on. Um, whoops, I don't want it to fall. But Trav has it all cut out perfect. So as you guys know, it's pretty chewed up down here. So that should be all set to be welded in. But first, I'm not sure if you guys follow me on Instagram. We do have the 36 three window back here. Um, if you ask me, it's not for sale. If you ask Travis, it's for sale. So I guess it depends who you talk to that day. Straight away. No. Da, 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 da. This way? Left. Yeah. So we've had this car for a almost year. a year now. Um, yeah, almost, yeah. almost a year, yeah. Um, and Travis has just decided that he wants to sell it. So they did a mock up yesterday of it. Now, looking at it like that, it looks so sick that I really have no interest in selling it. But, you know, we'll see what happens. So they just got some wheels, tires from upstairs in our little storage unit area or whatever. So they're going to be, or you know what? I'm probably going to be switching those out and putting on new wheels and tires just because of course it's not working out quite right at the moment. So yeah, I figured I'd set you guys up. We do a little 36 stuff and then hop over and do a little bit of the welding. So let's get into it guys. Well, there seems to be some troubles with that. So I'm taking an L on it and I will just start. Oh. I need to elevate that, but I will just start <laughs> welding my pieces together. It's all cut out. I'm realizing how bad the camera focus or lack thereof is on this camera. So then I'll just weld that onto there and that will finally be accomplished. So as you guys know, our garage is absolutely tiny. And we have this huge chassis in the way. 
my welders right there. The 32, it's gonna be a little maze to get it over here. getting this all set up um i wanted to let you guys know that eastwood had emailed me and they had given me a 10 percent off code so if you use my code kelly10 at checkout you'll get 10 percent off your eastwood order so i'll put that like somewhere maybe like and then in the description but yeah moving forward if you guys use that code um you will get 10 percent off you guys know i have the welder we have the blast cabinet, and yeah. Ugh. Something super grateful for, and that helps you guys out. So shout out again to Eastwood. So I just shut the door and turned the heat on in here. Travis is having a heck of a time out there. It, we always have a hard time trying to get all that stuff taken care of. So, you know, I'm nice and toasty in here for the time being like I come in here one day and it's nice and then I come in the next and it looks like this so I'm gonna clean this up or clean up as much as I can because I have like probably 45 minutes left until it's back to being a mom well I'm always a mom but you know what I mean so I definitely try to use this time wisely and get as much done as possible. Someone had asked before, like, do I do this every single day? Like, is this your job? It's not my job, but I do do this every single day. Push myself to come out here and even if it's something silly, and what the hell is this? Get it done. Kelly fashion I got caught off doing what I was doing and I had to go to in the house and then this and that so I'm back outside and back at this piece I have it all clamped up God knows it's gonna come apart but for now it looks good I guess so I'm gonna start to tack this up with a TIG and just hope for the best honestly because you know i seem to have no luck when things are in this position and i have the clamps and sometimes even when i have clamps i find that i have a bit of a hard time so i guess i'll just set you guys up and hope for the best right i was feeling more confident with the take anyway so hopefully that kind of helps to take my sweater off just in case something shoots back at me and yeah i mean what the heck i gotta at least try my best right <laughs> I guess it's time to take the sweater off. It's nice and toasty. The heat did just turn on, so it will warm up, but of course now it just shuts off. Ugh, cold. It's like once I stop, like I was out here doing good, and then the second that I stop and I have to go in the house and like re-enter mom mode, like my brain's like, <sighs> but now I'm out here, so we're doing it. All my stuff, my filler, my spare tungsten, because of course I'm gonna mess it up at some point. And yeah, my trusty Eastwood welder. Oopsie. All right, all, I know a lot of people are saying to sit. I was standing in one of my videos but sometimes I feel like standing is a little easier for me, you know, just to get a good position and like a good look at things. I really do need to be wearing glasses, honestly, but you know, you win some, you lose some. Did 
Did you change that? No. Filler. I don't think I've tacked with TIG before. So that should be interesting. It's also just dawning on me that this is like a corner or like there's a little elevation with the crease of it. I don't know the proper terms here. So now I have to think about how to do the filler. Oops. You know what I mean? Like kind of go this way instead of like there's not much room. I don't know if I'm making any sense at all. Don't mind me. Where's the ground? I need to put on the piece. Like the piece is gonna fall. I feel like I shouldn't put the ground on the piece because it's so small, you know what I mean? We do here. So. All right, so let's try that again. gonna take me so long to do sometimes it really is disheartening when you don't know what you're doing I do one good one, and then the next one sucks. There's some spots that with the clamp, it's just not getting close enough. So I'm gonna have to hold it with one hand or hold the piece together with one hand and fusion tack it in the other. I'm surprised I haven't hit the tungsten even though it's only been a couple of passes, but this should be interesting. I just started doing things like holding something in one hand and then like working with the other hand. I'm usually like, two hands on the machine or like two hands on the piece. So it's been a little learning curve. I hope that this just works out because I'm at the end of my, <laughs> the end of my rope with this today. This is the reality, folks. For most people, probably. You wanna do something, and you don't really know how to do it. I do have help now, I don't have help. So it's like figuring it out on your own, wanting to do a nice job, knowing how hard these pieces are to come by.
having a little bit of a blown out problem here. I'm not sure if you guys can tell. But like, I have like a good tack right there. The tack here, blown out, blown out, decent tack, weird tack, good tack. I don't know if it's just because like the position's weird, like holding it at this angle is new for me, or like this angle I guess. So just, I just called and asked and I'm going to use some filler now to fill in those holes and hopefully that helps it a bit. Uh, l l let's hope. I don't know. I'm almost embarrassed to be posting this on YouTube, but I don't know, whatever. Now, so I filled that hole, but now I was trying to like move this to get it like flush or like so I could butt weld it, if you will. But the pieces, like this is going on top now. So I feel like I messed something up already. I don't know. It's not my day. Some days, some days I'm doing it and I don't know right now. I think because I know I have to go cook dinner, my brain is thinking about cooking dinner for the family, that this is taking a beating. So maybe I'll take a break, go in the house, take care of dinner, try to talk to Trav and see if he has, I don't know. I don't know, maybe today's just not my day and I need to just listen to the universe that's telling me to like, you know, take a break. But God, I hate feeling like I did nothing. You know, I feel like I did nothing. And then I'm embarrassed to post this. And then, you know, I do get a lot of people like hating on me for no reason. So then it's like, do I post this? I guess if I do end up posting all this, then you know, I decided to say screw it. Hopefully it helps somebody else or if there's a young girl watching this or anything like that that wants to get into this, like I'm your girl because this does suck sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I wish I just did bolt on stuff at this garage. So I'm gonna take a break on that, take this off and ugh, go and make dinner. Sorry guys, this is not the usual. YouTube video. <laughs> it's a new day. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a new day. Welcome to this stupid thing that was giving me such a hard time on Friday. It's currently Sunday. You know, I have brought I brought in the professionals. So <laughs> professional. professional, I guess. Yes. Not two people. <laughs> One guy. One guy and a wife. And yeah, so this is what, do you wanna help me? Yeah, and that wasn't helping either because they're almost like pulling it. So I feel like I was doing a lot of complaining and I do apologize for that, but I was having a heck of a time doing this. Like, I don't know. I I tried my best. It's supposed to be over there, touching that. Yeah. That's why, because yeah. you know this line yeah. isn't lined up. Yeah. All these mar all these divots and weird things would have lined up better with this. Well, I was having a hard time with the clamps. It's all right, I know. So I think this is slightly above my <laughs> my pay grade here. So I'm gonna have the wonderful Travis take over and you know make it right because I put in a lot of work for this just to literally get to this point that I'd hate to like I don't know mess something up to the point where we're both like s-h-i-t right. you we know get yeah and we don't want profil no offense like sub rails or anything um They're nice we just want to use originals yes exactly as much so as we can. yes as much as we can so i'm gonna set trav up probably on a time lapse and he will have this taken care of in this Thanks, much bro. amount of time compared to my amount of time that it would probably take and mess up. <laughs> Oh. 
How's it going? Excellent. <laughs> Rub it in my face, why don't you? I don't think I had even done one tack <laughs> the amount of time we've done, like, the whole thing. to be close to flat. Close enough for me. good on the other one because this is the same side this guy so still fits good on here so that's nice and it's pretty flat here maybe a couple tweaks here bend down here bend up there whatever um, then we need to put hole here hole there hole 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 and you know a couple up front too this I don't know what was here that's gonna be a guessing game because it's missing from all of them I'm sure it's just another hole to mount the cowl in these two spots oh yeah this is on the side anyway so Travis now gonna do some more ticking there's of course some like big hole right here so Mike make that I just suggested I could take it, but then we came to the realization that it's going well. So, you know, if it's not broken. Well, if it's not broken, you don't want me to break it, I guess. So it's not broken, don't fix it. As in, let Travis just continue to do what he's good at. <laughs> pieces here and there I'll try to just do spot mig and just you know fill it grind it nice and smooth same with this corner here 
then put that doubler plate back on the front. Oh yeah. We have to put an extension on that too because I think right here. Yeah, it's on the inside. So it's a second piece and it also comes down and over. And it looks like it goes all the way to here. Yeah, so the whole thing has a, a lip on it that we need to create. So it's gonna hug right up against this all the way. But that should be easy enough. Just like this one, easy enough. <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> so we're at the MIG portion and <laughs> I was thinking, or we were thinking that I was gonna do it. Trav was just like practicing or like testing it to make sure it was good. And he's just like killing it here. And I just said to him like, either you got it or you don't and like can do it really well <laughs> or you can't and you know. It's also years and years and years of experience, but like, so good at it. Bravo, Trav. <laughs> Kelly builds with a large feature from <laughs> RAC Garage. However, we are working on a new project, so keep your eyes peeled. LFH. So Trav just did some hammering over there. I thought I was gonna have a moment to hammer, but you know. It was quick. It was quick. So now we got, this is the piece that I took 600 years to take off. If you watch those videos, I really appreciate the support because I'm so sorry it took way too long to do that. Anyway, okay. now. I'm gonna go back on here. We just gotta add a flange. To sit on top of this flange that we made. And then, throw some holes in it, and then start working on the outer rocker. This is the inner. And it's pretty much done, I think. Besides this guy. So, do a little bit of grinding on this. Now let's move to this guy. I get to do the hardest thing right now. I, I get to grind it. <laughs> Better than nothing. was at work I got the fenders in the garage da, 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 da. so just what we need right more 40 fenders well the other ones weren't 40 but more fenders this tiny garage with these massive fenders so Travis is gonna do a little cut in but we have to just obviously get these out of the way because we have no space so I guess if you need a fender, you know, let a girl know. And what is this piece for, Trav? This is the flange that we gotta add to that tiny piece. Engineering, right? Kinda? No? <laughs> Fabrication? Fabrication. Yeah, but you're using your brain, like. Always use your brain. I'm using my brain more now in the garage than I have since before I had kids, so I guess it's a good thing, right?
Okay. So you're gonna grind those little lumpy parts off like you did before. And it's gonna go right here. But then once this is welded on here, this gets welded to here. Yeah. All right, next step. First time I'm gonna use a bead roller. Trav has all the markings on it. Yep. <laughs> so this is where, this center here is gonna be up and these are gonna be down. So I gotta explain to her where to ride the uh, where to ride the line and how to so that's the joy of a personal project though it's like yeah. you know what we can like figure it out see, together it's this different. line you're not gonna see it it needs to be on the black line so like there okay so however far away this is from this line is where you need to keep that okay or I can just make a little mark on it. And then it's pulling, no? Yeah, it's supposed to pull into it. I let it just, go just underneath here. Yeah, just make sure it's straight. It's going on the line the whole time. It looks crooked to me. It kind of does to me as well. And why, why is it so crooked? It's just supposed to be straight. I don't know. I didn't know it was going to feel like that. Support. Are you taking it out? No. Okay. Yeah, it's freaking. How? I don't know. It's just straight line. It's the easiest thing you can do. Short, straight lines. Get out of it. I just pulled this... it in. So I'm that's... Push it. I wasn't ready for that. I didn't know it was going to do that. Okay. It's not terrible. Well, it didn't do anything. It oh. wasn't enough pressure. Perfect. So stay on the line. It's gonna pull it in. Hold on, write this line on this yes. corner. So you gotta pay attention now. Okay. Yeah, you can push it up. You get it started. Is it too much pressure? I'm slow. Are you going? No, because you're crooked. How am I crooked? I don't know. I've done this before, but it looks very crooked, so... I've never done this before, so... I'm trying to make this here. Okay. That's not bad at all! Is it? That doesn't look bad to me at all. Do it again. It's not going in. Hold on the left hand. I'm holding it. That ain't bad at all. So let's bring it over to a piece and make sure it fits or if we have to do it. No faith in me. Maybe a little deeper.
cool, huh? Yeah, that's why we want a powered one, so we don't have to use two people. We can just <laughs> use a hook out. Is this supposed to line up with the edge, pretty much? Uh, and this edge is supposed to line up with the edge, but I had it underneath. And it is here. Had a little gap in the center. That kind of kill me. Can you just fill it, right? Yeah. Not ideal, but you know, it's not the end of the world either. Just finished it up. His gloves are not. It's not too heavy. Like, look at that. Oops, I don't want it to fall down, but it's quite hot. So crazy cool that his brain can design that. So cool. Put this little bead in here so it will back up to this. Ow. And I cut the end of this so it match up with this. Now it's all tidy and I gotta weld them together. You can already hear the comments. Travis builds Kelly assists. Shut up. Suck it. I don't know. As I said in the last video, check out Travis's channel. Or don't, just stay here. Enjoy the good times. But Travis is, of course, a professional in this situation. <laughs> a little clampy over here. If nothing else, I am still learning a lot. So that's a plus side. Even if I'm not physically doing it, I'm still retaining it, hopefully. Because we have to do three more of these. Yes. Which, you know. Lots. Not ideal. What are you thinking? A little piece. I want to take off. It's gonna be a little tough since they're kind of all over the place. That's not our fault, but we'll get it done. Are you gonna make it or take it? Take. Instead of a time lapse, do a little quick. You think? Mm -hmm. Whoopsie. Oh, 
Okay guys, it's finally done. Moral of the story, <laughs> accept help if it's available and accessible. And yeah, thank God Travis knows how to do this stuff because I would not be having a 32 three window without the help of him. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm so glad that that piece is finally done. Um, obviously took a long time for me to do. I've never, oh my gosh, I've never done it before. And yeah, it's done. The inner piece, three more to go. Just gotta drill some holes. Just gotta drill some holes. Marked out one. Did you? Marked out one hole. That's this guy. Then I gotta do This one's important too. And then these I don't think are so important, but we'll drill them anyway. Thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel, Travis's channel, supporting everything that we're trying to do here. We appreciate it so much and see you guys next time. Hopefully I can do more <laughs> without the assistance next time, but thank you for being here. And yeah, like I said already, see you guys next time.